If your Windows computer keeps randomly freezing, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to show you some quick and easy steps you can take to resolve this issue. Now if your computer is completely frozen and you can't move the mouse cursor or click anything at all, then this is not going to be the video for you, but as long as you can navigate around your computer settings and open up a couple of apps, however slow this may be, then this video will help you fix all of your freezing and lagging issues. So let's jump straight into it and we are going to start by coming over to the start menu and we need to search for run and then head over to the run app. Inside of this search field we need to type in msconfig and hit enter and then we're going to come over to the services tab from the top here and you need to select this button down here hide all Microsoft services and then we're going to press this disable all button and this is going to prevent any third party applications from starting on our computer when we first launch it up. So press apply and ok to save these changes and you'll get a message saying you need to restart your computer for these changes to take effect but for now we're just going to select exit without restart and the next thing you need to do is come over to your start menu and search for settings and then head over to the settings tab. Scroll all the way down on the left here inside of Windows Update and press this check for updates button just to ensure we're running the latest version of Windows as outdated software can cause problems with our hardware and software so it's just a good idea making sure this is fully up to date. Then once you're fully up to date you need to head over to apps from the left hand side here inside of installed apps and you need to go through this list carefully and remove any applications that we don't actually need. Now you'll be surprised by the amount of things in here that we don't actually need inside of our computer. For example, there's a lot of Microsoft software on here that we can remove, like the weather apps if you don't use it, but just go through this list and try to declutter your computer by removing as many applications as possible, and then we can close out of this window. And the next thing you need to do is head over to your file explorer, and then locate your C drive, and we're going to right click on it and come into properties, inside of tools, and you'll see something called error checking, and we just need to press this check button, and then we can press scan drive. Now this may take a few minutes to complete, and it's just going to check for any errors inside of our hard disk. So once that's done, you can close out of this window. And the next thing you need to do is head over to the start menu and search for CMD and right click on command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. Inside of here, we just need to enter a couple of commands. The first command we're going to enter is SFC space slash scan now and hit enter. And this command will check and repair any corrupted system files on your computer. And then once you've tried running the SFC scan command, if that still hasn't fixed any issues for you, you can also try this command, which is DISM space slash online space slash cleanup hyphen image space slash restore health. And this will perform a similar type of scan. So just hit enter on your keyboard to run this. And once again, this may take a few minutes to complete. So just wait for this to get to 100%. And then the next thing you need to do is head over to your start menu. And we're going to search for control panel and head over to the control panel tab. Inside of here, make sure view by is set to large icons and then come over to power options. And we're going to ensure that high performance plan is selected from here. You can then close out of this window and we're going to come back over to our start menu and search for disk cleanup. Then tap on the disk cleanup app and you need to select all the check boxes inside of here. And as you can see by doing this, this is gonna save me 10 gigabytes of space. So we just need to select clean up system files and then we can hit okay. Just press yes to this confirmation message. And the next thing you need to do is come over to your start menu and search for defragment and come over to defragment and optimize drives. Now this tool is going to organize our files and save data on our computer by consolidating them and to basically allow you more hard drive disk space, which as a result is going to speed up your system. So we just need to press this optimize button here and this should only take a few seconds to complete and we can then head out of this window. And the very last thing we're gonna do is head over to the start menu and you need to search for Windows Memory Diagnostic and then just come over to Windows Memory Diagnostic app and we're gonna click this restart now and check for problems button. And this is going to restart our computer for all of our changes to take effect. And once you've restarted your computer, that should have fixed any randomly freezing issues you were experiencing inside of Windows 11. If this video did help you, then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.